Hello, hello, hello. This camera sucks at life. Okay, today we're going to do this cute little splatter mani. I know you guys can't see it that well because like I said, my camera is a hunk of junk, but I promise it's cute. Um, what you're going to need, you're going to need a straw. I recommend using like a stir straw, like a little coffee stir straw. Um, you can use a regular sized straw, but it's a little harder. So the smaller the straw, the easier it's going to be. So if you can get like one of those little coffee stir straws, and we're going to cut this into three little pieces. So depending what size your straw is, you want each piece to be about this long. And I would say you're going to need, you're going to need four of these. So whatever you need to do to get four pieces of a straw this size, do it. And you're also going to need basic white polish. This is Julie G White Orchid, but any white polish will do. Also black polish. This is Wet and Wild Lights Out. Any basic black cream polish. And then the colors that I'm using are uh, Sinful Colors Cotton Candy, but any pink color will do. Sinful Colors Sweet Tooth, it's like a lavender, pastel lavender color. Any purple, you guys can do any color you want. You don't have to do the same colors I'm doing. And then this is Wet and Wild, I Need a Refreshment. And this is like a Tiffany blue color. And then a top coat, whatever top coat you like. I highly, highly recommend Sage Beat because it's not going to smudge your splatter mani when you're done. If you want to use a different top coat, you may, but you may have a problem with um, smudging at the end. So if you can get your hands on some Sage Beat, I highly recommend it. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors. Any old scissors will do. If you have like a little eyeliner brush or some kind of smudge brush to clean up with when we're done, if not, you can just use a Q-tip, but I do recommend some sort of little eyeliner brush or any kind of smaller brush that you can get around your nail with. And you're also going to need some tape, just plain old tape. And then some cotton pads, whatever you normally use to take your nail polish off with will be fine. And either acetone or nail polish remover. I usually use acetone. I have it over there, so I'll just show you this for now. This is the Zoya Remove. Um, acetone, you get cleaner lines around the edges, and I will talk about that more in the video. But either nail polish remover or acetone, whichever you prefer. And I think that's it. So we are going to get started. I hope you guys like this um, tutorial, and I will talk to you afterwards. Thumbs up. So let's get started on our splatter. And as you can see, I have just two coats of white polish on um, my index and my middle finger, and they're fairly dry. I did them about 10 minutes ago. So you want to make sure that that's fairly dry. Um, and one thing I did forget to mention in the intro, you do want to have some newspaper or something at your work area because you are going to make a mess when you splatter, as you guys can see. When I did the rest of my nails, I made a little mess, but that's okay because this is just like a little board that I have down on my table. So I have two straws here. Now we're using four, four colors. So we're going to need four pieces of our straw. So I'm just going to cut these, and I usually cut, I usually can get three pieces out of each straw. So uh, that one might be, I'm going to keep that one as is. These straws are kind of like a weird length, but, oh, that one shot across the room. Okay, you know what? Actually, I am going to cut those in half because they're a little bit long. So I'll save some for the next time. So as long as we have four, and I'm going to use this one. It's a little bit longer. Okay, so you want to have each one about that long, and you want eat one straw per polish because, of course, we're not going to um, dip 
a used straw into a new color. So you want a new straw for each polish that you are splattering with. Oh, let me get this out of the way. And I'm going to start off with the cotton candy, which is the pink color. And I know, guys, my camera does not focus well close up. I'm going to do the best I can to show you the design as I go along. But I do apologize if, if you can't see it that well. But you will be able to get an idea of what I'm doing, which is mainly what this tutorial is about. So just get the lid off of your polish, get it all cleaned off because we're going to set this aside, but of course you don't want to set it aside with polish all over it. So just get your lid cleaned off good and set that aside. And we, if my lid would stay, okay, we are ready to start. So I'm going to take some tape and I am just going to put one piece. Let me move this because we know I will spill it and just put one piece down by your cuticle and just tape it across. No matter how well you tape, you're going to have to do cleanup. If you're looking for a form of nail art that you don't have to do a lot of cleanup, this is not the design for you because no matter how well you tape, you're going to have to do cleanup. So this step just kind of saves us a little bit of cleanup and then we're going to take another piece put it on the side by the side of your nail and then just wrap it around the tip of your nail and bring it down the other side just like that and then just squeeze it shut in the back and we're going to do the same thing with our middle finger get that taped off All right, there we go. All right, so we're gonna start with our pink color. Let me put this here so you guys can see. I'm just going to take my straw, I'm going to dip it in the polish, and we only wanna get the edge of the straw wet with polish. You only need to do the very edge of the straw, and I will show you. So see how I just did the very you guys see that the very end of the straw you don't need to dip it in far and then we're going to just blow this polish out onto the nail let me get my stuff out of the way and when I blow the polish out I use short hard breaths you don't want to blow it out slowly and I know it sounds kind of giggly and a little bit, you know, sexual, because I'm going to say the word blow probably 5,000 times in this tutorial. But when you blow your polish out, short, hard, fast breaths, because if you blow it out slowly, you're just going to get a big blob of polish on the nail. So same thing, re-dip and just blow that polish out. And usually I have to do two or three per nail. Um, but everybody's going to be different. You'll just have to, if you want a lot of coverage. Now, we don't want to cover the whole nail, and we are going to be using a few colors. So you only want to have a little bit of each color, because by the time we do all four colors, our nail is going to be pretty well covered. So usually about two dips and two, um, two blows out of your straw, and you guys should be good. So I'm actually going to do both nails, and it it will be a lot quicker like if I were also doing these two fingers I would do all of my pink and then I would move on to the next color if you do each finger individually you're gonna be here forever so get all of one color done and then move on to the next color and you re-dip every time because you need to get the the polish into the straw again so now we're gonna do the middle finger And one more probably should be good. Uh, and sometimes if you have like a little spot where you just want to get some polish, sometimes I'll cheat and I'll just get most of the polish off of the straw and then I'll kind of just dip the straw against my nail and just kind of get a little bit of coverage there. I just had one little tiny spot that I wanted to get a little pink. So instead of doing another 
um, blow through the straw, I, I could chance getting way too much pink. So I'll just take my straw and just kind of dip it on there. You just don't want it to be like a perfect circle. You want to make sure that it's just kind of, you know, just plopped on there so that it matches the rest of your splatter. All right, so we're going to set that straw aside, recap our polish, and next I'm going to do the Wet n Wild I Need a Refreshment. So same thing, we're just going to get the brush out of there, get it cleaned off good, set that lid aside, come on lid, and then get a new clean straw, and we're going to do the same thing again. Just get the end of the straw, dip down, and short, quick breaths. One more. Uh, that should be good. And I am, when I dip the polish, or the straw into the polish, I am kind of cleaning the sides off a little, just so you don't have polish running down your straw when you're blowing it out. I'll do one more on this nail. There we go. That's good. And let's do our middle finger. So I'm kind of like, like inhaling and then just like blowing out a quick puff of breath through the straw. You want to make sure you blow out nice and fast. All right, so that should be good. I know you guys can't see it that well because my camera sucks at life. But I will post a picture afterwards for you guys to see the completed project. All right, and then recap that color. Once you get started, this moves fairly quickly. And I normally would let this dry maybe like two or three minutes in between each color, but we'll be fine. It's just polish. I love this purple color. It's so, so, so pretty. All right, get that cap out of the way. Grab another straw. And you can, if you want to use a full-sized straw to do this, like the full length without cutting it, you can do that. I find it works better this way, um, just with blowing, you know, your breath. I just feel like the splatter comes out a little bit finer. But if you want to keep the straw in one piece, you know, if you think that would be easier, you can do that. You don't have to cut your straw. And the reason I'm using a smaller straw, this is actually like a coffee stirrer straw. Um, the bigger the straw, the bigger your splatter is going to be. And when you're first starting out, it's so much easier to use a thinner straw. You can use a full size straw, but your blobs are going to be a lot bigger. It's it's harder to get the fine like mist. So I definitely recommend finding small like coffee stir straws and you can find them at the grocery store in the aisle with the coffee. All right, so we're just gonna dip that down. Eh, see, I didn't get much that time. And it's trial and error. Sometimes you'll get a really good amount of polish out and other times you won't get that much. You just kinda, it's trial and error. And I just have a little area over here that I wanna get some purple on. So I'm just gonna get the excess off of my straw and then I'm just gonna dip my straw over there. And just kinda muss that up a little bit so it doesn't look too perfect. And we can move on to the middle finger. And see, now that one, I got a lot of coverage. So I'm actually only going to do that one for that middle finger because I got more than enough purple on that one. And recap. And you guys could stop here if you just want to do the pastel splatter. I love to add black when I do these splatters. Black just looks so cool with it, I think. It just, I don't know, it just kind of makes it look really neat. So I like to do black, but I don't do as much of the black as I do of my other colors because the black can sometimes take over the nail. So I'll usually only do one, maybe two um, dips of the black polish. Dips and blows. 
Sounds like I'm filming some kind of porn tutorial, but I swear I'm not. All right, get that out of the way. And another piece of straw. And just get a little bit of your black polish. See how I'm just getting that on the end, just the very end. Ah, see how I got that big blob there? Luckily it went on my tape. That one just didn't work. Sometimes your breath just doesn't work. There we go. That was a good one. And I'm actually going to do one more though because I didn't really get any big areas of black and I usually like to have like one bigger area. There we go. That was good. I know. I'm... I'm getting a new camera. I really, really am because this one drives me crazy. It just does not focus. All right, moving on to the middle finger. Oh, see now with one, we're good. So you kind of just have to play it by ear. Sometimes you'll have to do like three, other times one will do you. And now that we are all done, I'm just going to get my tape off and you can cut it down the back carefully and then take it off with like a pair of um, cuticle nippers if you don't want to get your hands dirty. Usually I can get it off from the back without getting my fingers dirty. Just be careful not to mess up that design. But the tape really does save you some cleanup. But like I said, and you guys will see, we're still going to have to do some cleanup because Polish always gets under there. So see, we do have a little bit of cleanup we have to do. So I'm just going to take a small eyeliner brush and you can use a Q-tip, but you're not gonna get clean lines. Um, this little eyeliner brush, we can really get in there around our cuticles and get a nice clean line. And let me recap, make sure that you guys recap your polish as soon as you're done so that it doesn't dry out. And I just have a little bit of acetone in this little lid here. So I'm just going to dip that in, get the excess off, and then I'm just going to go around. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Let me just move a little closer. I'm just going to go around my nail and clean up. Just get all that polish off of there. And just keep re-dipping, get the excess off. And sometimes I'll use a Q-tip if I have a lot of polish on my fingers, but we're actually not too, too bad with this one. So I'm just going to use this little eyeliner brush. And if you have anything around your cuticles, just get in there with your brush and get it off. I'm sorry if my hand gets in the way. I haven't yet figured out a way to get to this side of my nail without totally blocking the camera. Right, let me just get a nice clean line down here. And I think we're good to go. And then just move on to your middle finger. And we have a big blob of black polish down here, of course. I always manage to get the black polish in my cuticle. It's just like Murphy's Law. If something bad is meant to happen, it's going to happen with the black polish because, of course, that one's the hardest to clean up. But, like I said, it's just nail polish. It's not the end of the world. All right, and then just get over here. Get all that cleaned up. And you can use nail polish remover for this step. You won't it's going to take you longer to clean up with nail polish remover. I know the acetone is very drying, but if you um, just wait for this to dry, now of course we will top coat this, but once you're done with everything, if you just put a little bit of cuticle oil on and maybe some hand lotion, you'll be fine. If you're worried about using, um, using the acetone, don't be. I mean, I use it every single day and my cuticles are just fine. All right, I think, let me just get up here by the top of my finger and we should be good to go. 
And I don't know if we're dry enough to top coat yet, but I'm going to try because I want to show you guys the completed nail. So I use Sage Beat. Um, I highly recommend this. If you want to use a different top coat, you can, but you may have some problems with smudging. Um, the Sage Beat is really good with nail art. So just make sure you have a good bead of polish on the end so you're not dragging your design. And just get that top coated. Just do our tip. And then our middle finger. And I normally would wait like 10 minutes before doing this, but I think we'll be okay. We actually, yeah, we're good. All right, let me just, I got a little bit of nail polish down here. Okay, so we are finished. That is how I do my splatter manicures. I really hope that this helped you guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave them for me in the down bar and or in the comment area, and I will do my best to answer everyone's questions. And please, please, please tag Young, Wild, and Polished if you guys um, do any of these designs and post them to Instagram or Twitter. Please tag me because I love, really, really love to see um, your designs. So I will see you guys soon and have fun practicing. Bye, guys.